Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. UPS came to my house today. It's a lens, just what I needed. But in this video, I'm gonna unbox it and show you it. You know, I'm just gonna jump right into the unboxing and let you know that um, I have a lot of lenses and I probably didn't need another one, but I really didn't have a proper portrait lens. I usually do my portraits with my Nikon 70 to 200 and sometimes with the 24 to 70, but I really didn't have like an 85 1.4 or a 105 1.4. So I broke down and I bought a Sigma 105 1.4 so um, I don't know I did research you know looked at the MTF charts all that stuff and it really was between the Nikon and this one this one's was bigger and heavier but it seemed to be better overall and overall got better reviews I don't own too many lenses other than Nikon so this is new for me so I'll open it up and because you know owner's manual warranty guide and stuff and it comes with a pretty robust carrying case i don't know if this is spacer or what's in here let's take a look before i get to the lens proper oh this is a strap for the carrying bag another strap i guess i guess one's probably like a handle i would imagine and there's a rubber gasket. It says 105, 1.4 on it. All right, so, you know, that's not fun. You don't need that. All right, case is pretty nice. Um, well, pretty heavy, I'll tell you that right now. Uh, case is pretty nice. That's something I probably carry. I'll probably put this in a, in a camera bag on its own. All right, uh, supposedly this is a composite graphite and plastic uh, lens hood that is very durable. That's what they claim at least. And it doesn't screw on, uh, it screws on. Or just put it on and you lock it down with this. In the lens itself, uh, it's a F1.4. 105 millimeter lens. Uh, as you can see, it has a collar, and um, from it's my understanding that you don't, if you have an Arca Swiss uh, tripod style head, you don't need to put a base plate on this. This is Arca Swiss compatible right out of the box. Um, and I really, uh, I gotta say, it's really heavy. <laughs> it's really heavy. It takes a 105 millimeter. Uh, filter and it's a 105 millimeter lens by coincidence but uh, that is pretty large but since I'll be mainly using this in the studio uh, for portraiture or even if I'm out you know on location doing portraiture I'll be uh, generally and mostly uh, just shooting straight photos with it not in really needing a polarizer or an ND filter or anything like that if you often put filters on your lenses. Let's say you often do portraiture in areas with a lot of glare and you're cutting out glare with a polarizer. Uh, and a 105 millimeter polarizer is probably gonna cost a lot of money. So you have to take that into account. Um, the lens cap is, you know, standard, nothing special there. Overall, um, it feels solid. Uh, the focus ring is very thick and it's relatively smooth, but when it, you know, you hit the end of the, the uh, focus throw, you could hear that click. No big deal. I mean, all lenses do that. Uh, but overall, let's see here. Take this off. You know, it's a Nikon mount, by the way, as I kind of implied when I was talking about all I have is Nik are Nikon lenses. Uh, it's a Nikon mount. I do also shoot Fuji, but uh, I wouldn't, they don't, I, as far as I know, they don't sell this in a Fuji mount. Uh, and even if they did, it wouldn't be something I'd purchase. Uh, but uh, it is available in a Canon mount 
and in a Sony mount, it does not have any vibration reduction or optical image stabilization built in. So you're going to have to rely, like Canon and Nikon shooters, you're going to have to rely on good technique to make sure that you're steady with this and uh, you, know, you don't get any blurred shots because of camera movement or lens movement. Sony, on the other hand, I would imagine the in-body image stabilization will work fine with this lens. Of course, I haven't tried it myself and probably never will, but I think that it would probably work out well for Sony shooters. Um, I cannot emphasize, uh, really, it's really heavy. Um, I plan on using it on my Nikon D850, which uh, with the battery pack is very heavy. So this is going to be interesting uh, how that works out. Now, um, I will do a follow-up video where I do a review on this. And I apologize in advance. Uh, in the past, my reviews have taken a long time, big time between the unboxing and the review, uh, mainly because I've been working by myself, but now I have people working for me now and helping me. So I should be able to get this review done, hopefully within a week. And um, once it's done, of course, it'll be on my website and on YouTube. And uh, I'll tell you honestly how I like this lens. I'm not being sponsored by Sigma or anyone, no one paid me to do the video and I bought the lens myself. So that's it. That's the Sigma, uh, specifically 105 f1.4 DG HSM art lens. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.